항상 처음은 설레이지 널 보러 가는 길도 마치 구름 위지 너에게 하고 싶은 말을 생각하다가 나 이렇게 나가 바보라는 것을 알게 되었어 참 바보같이 머리부터 발끝까지 콩깍지 가스연한 커피를 들고 햇볕 아래서 널 기다리다 내 마음이 녹은 것 같아 Let's go out in the sun 느낌이 왔어 이 리듬에 맞게 발걸음에 맞춰 Fly with the wind 이 분위기를 타 떠나러 가지 못한 곳을 데려가죠 Time after time 사랑을 몰라 말들이 너무 많아 우리 걱정은 나 Today we're making a little Sunday brunch And I just went to H-Mart so we're doing a little Korean themed brunch so I have these Korean pancake mixes. I think I tried this and I might have recorded it once, but they were really, really good. So I got these again. And then I'm also going to make some soon tofu soup. So the Korean soft tofu soup with just some pretty basic ingredients. I have my lovely girlfriend here with me helping me today.
right, so if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you know that the aesthetics of my home and creating a very cohesive space are super important to me. And I feel like the one thing that I usually struggle with is finding home tech. So things like TVs, speakers, in this case, a projector that fit with the overall aesthetic of my apartment and really don't stand out too much as just like a black box or just a piece of plastic like most home tech does. So that's why I was super excited when LG actually reached out to me to send over this bad boy right here. This is the LG Cinebeam Q. And as you can definitely tell, it is not your average projector. This is something that I would definitely put in the category of home decor focused home tech and other things like this are, for example, the TV and the speaker setup that I have. So I've now spent around a week with it and I wanted to provide sort of my overall thoughts about the experience of using it as well as the product itself. So let's start number one with just the overall physical appearance and the aesthetics of it. And I definitely think obviously this is the strong suit of this projector. I would say this is absolutely one of the most beautiful projectors I have ever seen. Projectors are usually either just like a white or black glossy plastic box that definitely sticks out a lot. But this one on the other hand is like the polar opposite of that. It almost looks like sort of a vintage digital camera, which I think is super cool. It has this metallic finish on all four sides of it, which makes it look super, super sleek. A few other things I'll touch upon just in terms of the physical product itself. Obviously just holding in my hands, you can see that this is a very, very compact projector. I think you'd have no problem throwing this in like a backpack or a suitcase if you were traveling and wanted to bring along a projector with you. And LG definitely thought of that because as you can see, this piece right here obviously acts as sort of a stand for the projector, but it actually swivels and you can rotate it upwards to sort of act as a carrying handle for the projector. So I would say in terms of the physical aspects of this projector, LG absolutely knocked it out of the park. And I would say I've never seen a more physically attractive projector before in my life. Now let's move on to the picture quality. I'll preface this by saying this is obviously a very small projector. I've definitely used bigger projectors that I would say have better overall picture quality, but I think for something of this small size, I'm really, really pleased. This little projector has 4K resolution, which makes the picture quality seem super, super clear. And then in addition to that, I feel like the colors also really pop a good amount. I think one thing to touch upon is brightness. It's definitely usable during sort of the daytime or at night if you have a bunch of lamps on. But if you really want the full experience, I would definitely say you have to turn all the lights off and just let the projector shine by itself. And then the last thing I'll touch upon is the audio quality. I think in most scenarios, if you're obviously looking to have really great audio quality, you probably want to connect this to some external speakers. But I would say, especially if you're using it for like a portable projector, for example, you just want to whip it out in your bedroom or something. The two speakers on the side definitely provide a pretty good output for such a small device. So with all that being said, who do I think this projector is for? I would say if you're someone who is a video file, <laughs> I don't think that's the right word, but basically someone who cares a lot about the picture quality, I would say maybe this projector isn't for you. There are definitely other options on the market that I feel like provide a more clear picture. I would say, however, that this is absolutely for someone like me who is really more focused on good performance, but at the same time balancing the overall aesthetics of it, especially because I've spent such a long time and a lot of money curating an amazing space, which I feel like everything goes really well together with. I absolutely believe that this projector achieves that perfectly. It really just looks like another piece of home decor sitting on my shelf and does not stand out as an eyesore at all. So overall, yeah, really, really happy with this projector. And again, big shout out to LG for sending this over early. This hasn't released yet, but I'll be sure to leave a link in the description for sort of like the pre-order page, which I believe you can sign up for a $100 off discount for when it actually does release.
So usually I'm actually not one to buy myself a lot of stuff. Interestingly enough, ever since I started doing content, I actually buy myself less stuff now than I did before. I think part of that is because I've already spent so much time and effort and money <laughs> on my space itself. And so I don't really feel the need to buy myself a lot of new stuff. And then also because I work with so many amazing brands and usually part of that involves receiving things from them to either review or to make videos about, I also just by default already get a good amount of stuff. And so I definitely try to be pretty cognizant of not buying too much on top of that just to save money. And then also because I really, really don't need it a lot of the time. And then I think in particular with clothing, I really love obviously just cozy clothing. And especially because I work from home so much, there isn't really a ton of need for me to get like fitted, I guess you could say. So I also try to not buy too much clothes just because I know realistically most of the times I don't end up wearing it. But with that being said, it was actually recently my birthday on March 5th. And so I picked up a few things that I've been wearing the absolute hell out of and wanted to show you guys. Some of them I got for myself. Some of them were also gifts. Let me show you guys what I got and also where I got them from. All right. So first up is actually these pants that I'm wearing right now. These are from Cost, and I've talked a lot about Cost before because they're one of my favorite places to get clothing from, especially pants, especially with spring and summer coming up in San Francisco, I wanted a few pair of pants that were sort of in this very flowy style because a lot of the time it's not exactly hot enough to wear shorts in the city. I also picked these up in black, which I think also look great. And I just know I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of both of these throughout the season. All right, next up I have this cream colored hoodie and I've only had this for like a week, but I've already worn it a ton and I've already got a lot of questions on where this is from. So this is from Borderline. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description for this hoodie as well as everything else that I mentioned in the description box below. So be sure to check out there if you're interested in anything. I know I've talked about hoodies a lot in the past because it's one of my favorite articles of clothing, but I truly, truly think that this is one of, if not my favorite hoodie I've ever worn. Let me put it on and show you guys exactly why. As you can see, it fits exactly how I like my hoodies to fit, which is a little bit cropped at the waist and then very oversized in both the arms and the body. I love a good cream color and it actually fits pretty well with what I'm wearing right now. I will definitely be looking to pick up some more colors of this hoodie whenever they release. All right, last up is this jacket from Uniqlo. This is actually from the women's section and I've talked a lot about this in the past, but everything there fits a little bit more cropped at the waist. As someone who's not in particularly tall, I'm 5'10", so definitely not super short, but also not on the tall side. I just feel like a lot of clothes in the men's section are often just way too long and just make me look sort of like compressed. This jacket was definitely a really, really good find from the women's collection. It's also a pretty thin jacket, and so I definitely see myself getting a lot of wear out of this in the spring and then maybe even a little bit in the summer. And last up are these ASICs that I got from my girlfriend as a birthday gift. Ever since I got these around a week or two ago, I've been wearing them pretty much nonstop. Easily one of the most comfortable sneakers that I own. I also just really love this color with this sort of like white and cream with little details of the shiny chrome. I feel like it goes with this outfit. It goes with pretty much anything that I wear. If you're like me and you didn't have a pair of ASICs yet, I would definitely check these out. Definitely one of my favorite sneakers that I own now.